Sensing Wind, the founder of Sacred Earth Connection. I've been continuing to focus on Sacred Possibilities too, And so while working on that very large book, I haven't received a whole lot of inspiration to create with spirit and nature these beautiful sacred earth connection videos so i was super delighted when the magnificent tree inspired me to bring you one more video the trees bring us so many incredible gifts they really hold space for our world to be the world that we know. I'm highly aware that this past year has been a difficult one for many. And we are currently in an amazing initiation and time of transformation for humanity on so many levels. And no, as a little reminder that you are never alone in what you experience. The divine and the divinity of life is ever present. And I often refer to them as spirit, as a group. And so the trees are part of this incredible source of support for us. And it's their higher consciousness, which is the spiritual gift that I speak of today. And so I usually include video of my featured guest at the end of my video. But for this one, I'll do it a little differently to really honor and feature for you the different aspects of these spiritual gifts that I bring to you from these beautiful trees. I'm currently sitting with a mighty oak here in coastal Sonoma County, California, where we have our home. And every day I receive gifts from these beautiful trees in our landscapes. And I'm honored to sit and spend quality time with them wherever I am, wherever I travel, wherever I reside. When you're open from your heart, your sacred heart, which is your higher awareness and your connection with the divinity of life, your divinity and the divinity that flows through all life from our magnificent divine creator and so the first gift that i bring to you today is basically all these gifts bring you the state of inner peace if you can integrate all these and practice them in some way, you will receive your beautiful natural state of inner peace. And so this is the bigger gift and wisdom and teaching that I bring to you today from these beautiful, magnificent, old, wise trees. And so the first one is breathe you might think that this is interesting however the trees breathe deeply and in the society that we've created stress is a factor that is ever present for us on all levels of our being. And so most people don't realize that they're in a constant state of fight or flight, which causes you to breathe in a shallow 
way. So you're not fully deeply inhaling and fully deeply exhaling. And this can cause you to feel more anxious and less clear of mind and focus and just more stressed. It contributes to more stress. So we invite you to take a moment throughout your day, multiple times in your day to simply shift your focus to your breathing and notice, are you even breathing normally? You can even put your hand on your chest and close your eyes. And deeply breathe in and out three times or as long as you feel a need to just to bring you back into your natural state of calm. It does wonders for every aspect of your being when you do that. Your heart rate returns to normal. Your mind becomes clearer. You can focus better. You don't feel out of body, you feel more present. So that's our first gift and invitation for you today. The second one, which is a nice segue from breathing is to practice being present, fully present. The trees are masterful at this. And they have such great awareness because of their full presence. And this is an opportunity for you to focus on the only thing that you have control over. And this is your present moment of being. Anything in the past, anything in the future, doesn't exist. It's all in your mind. It doesn't exist in your reality of now. And so by focusing on the present moment, you eliminate a lot of overwhelm. So we invite you to check in with yourself throughout your day to see in your mind, where are you? Are you fully focused on the present moment or are you in the past or the future? And you can notice sometimes if you go on autopilot and you've just done a bunch of things and you don't really remember doing them, you aren't fully present. You are somewhere else in your mind and so that's a, a little clue for you to realize that it would benefit you to breathe and be more present to your current moment so that you can fully live your life. Another beautiful lesson and gift from the trees is to release what does not benefit you, what no longer serves you, what isn't aligned with who you are now. If you are on a path of growth, you are constantly changing and evolving and it's easy to hang on to things that are familiar and comfortable, but a lot of times those will drag you down and not support you to be your best because they're no longer on the same wavelength as you. 
And so by learning to release like the beautiful trees who shed their leaves every time that it's a dry period or a cold period, regardless of the climates, trees will shed their leaves and they allow them to be more vibrant once the rains and the warm weather returns. It's something that they do on a regular basis, shedding their beautiful leaves. And so our invitation for you regarding this gift of release is take a moment or some time to really look in your life, even your physical spaces, to see what feels like it's cluttering or blocking your energy, making you feel stagnant, dragging you down, just not supporting you to be your best you. And when you go into your sacred heart and ask for guidance on the best way to release these things or these people or these circumstances or situations, ultimately how you are guided to do so benefits everyone and so you just have to trust your higher guidance another beautiful gift that the trees give us in their wisdom is patience and this is something that people have such a difficult time with because we have created a society where people in general want everything yesterday. And so being patient is not exactly something that people are comfortable with and the trees especially the ancient ones here in california who are thousands of years old like the redwoods and the giant sequoias who i've had the absolute pleasure and honor of spending a lot of time with they have mastered patience and patience is such an incredible gift to cultivate within you and nurture and practice. And when you nurture patience, you're able to allow the natural course of things to unfold and honor the divine timing of different processes that invite so much more magic and miracles to manifest because everything that needed to come together was allowed to have that time to come together and I share so many examples of this in both Sacred Possibilities books. The second one will be published in its divine timing but so much of what I've experienced that was absolutely extraordinary is because I allowed for things to manifest in their own timing and just held space for these outcomes to be the most divine possible for me and everyone involved. It's about being a conscious co-creator through patience with the divinity of life.
nature doesn't hurry nature allows for everything to unfold in its own timing the trees they become as majestic as they are because they take a lot of time to grow. And in doing so, they're able to reach their full potential. And so our invitation for you with regards to this is notice in your day when there are times that you are not being patient and we invite you to take a deep breath and see if you're able to be as patient as you need to be for something to unfold in its natural timing to follow its own process so that you receive the greatest outcome possible. Now, another incredible gift that the trees share with us is being well grounded. They are natural channels and this is why I received so much wisdom from them. And I've also received healing energy. They are perfect channels wide open at their crowns that look like they reach the sky. And they are also deeply grounded into Mother Earth. And they teach us through this that when you're well grounded in your body solidly you're not living in your mind then all information that you receive including higher information you're able to integrate in a way that you don't feel overwhelmed because we are bombarded by information every single day now from everywhere and so our invitation for you regarding groundedness is to practice being solidly in your body. You can simply jump up and down, stretch, do physical things that make you feel solid in your body. If you're able to find a natural space outside, and it's not covered in snow or ice and to put your bare feet on the ground on mother earth and stand there or sit there for a good five minutes or longer if you can and breathe and allow yourself to feel fully grounded another beautiful lesson that the trees bring us is to grow deep roots. The largest trees are that big because they've grown deep roots, whether it's, it's down this way or that way, they have very, very large roots to stabilize them. The way that we as human beings can grow these strong roots is by being very aware of our truth. This is what empowers you during life's storms by knowing what your values are, what you hold sacred to your heart, what's really important to you, your beliefs, what you know to be true from experience, all these things stabilize you when the winds of change and metaphorical storms blow into your life. 
by being very strongly centered in your personal truth, you're able to withstand anything. And when you're tested, you have infallible roots. They won't give away because you are firmly planted, centered, rooted into that truth. And so our beautiful invitation for you with regards to deep, strong roots is for you to take some time to really think about what gives you strength and what really empowers you in your life. And really nurture that and let go of what doesn't so that when you are tested through change and storms and unexpected surprises, you can remain strong and empowered through your roots. And one more beautiful lesson that the trees bring us to nurture a state of inner peace within you <laughs> this beautiful oak just shed a branch <laughs> that fell right beside me <laughs> so yes change which is a natural part of life Learn to accept change as a natural state of living here on Mother Earth as a human being, as part of this beautiful world and ecosystem. Change is the one thing that we can always count on in this physical world. No day is the same. No moment is the same. Every natural aspect of this world changes and this is a good thing it's such a gift to be able to depend on change and so our invitation for you with regards to accepting change is to notice in your life without judgment where you might resist change and take some time to think about what it is that makes you resist that change and what can you shift to be more open to change. Sometimes it's just a matter of shifting your perspective so that you know you're always supported and as long as you hold an intention for everything in your life to be for your benefit to support you to be your best you then you can trust that any change is for the better even if sometimes it doesn't appear that way immediately. Trust that at some point you will see that it really was a gift. We all have our own unique soul paths when we come here. Our souls desire to experience an incredible journey and to learn specific things and offer specific things that only we can. And so by honoring the changes that you experience in your life, you're allowing your soul to more fully experience the journey that it desires to experience here. And one last beautiful gift and teaching that the trees give to us is they demonstrate every day how the divinity of life 
is here always around us and within us and through our connections and relationships and awareness always always present to support us i've had so many incredible deeply magical experiences with the trees regardless where i've been when you're open they are constantly inviting you to give you gifts depending on where you are on your path of life and what you need and they truly are such a sacred gift to us in this world and so notice when you're around trees if you feel attracted to a specific one or if something about a certain tree catches your eye or feels magnetic to you and take some time to sit with this tree with an open heart and mind fill yourself with love and appreciation for this tree as a being who is fully aware of you and extend your admiration share your heart and free of expectations and so at the dawn of a new year during this sacred time of the holy days wherever you are on our magnificent mother earth and Whoever grows mighty as the tree beings in your part of the world. I thank you for watching. I wish you infinite blessings now and beyond on your unique path of life with divine empowerment and always that can support you at this time and beyond. And I send you great love.